Yay! My two new mutants comic book finally sold on eBay! What's up guys? Welcome back to J.Rule Productions. Today I'm going to show you guys how to ship comics the proper way. So the tools that you are going to need are very simple. Of course, your comics for sale, a pair of scissors. For this time, I'm going to use the uh, USPS Priority Mail Flat Rates Bubble Envelope and some of these um, medium rate boxes from USPS. All right, so as we all know, when people ship comics, it needs to be protected properly. Nobody wants to buy damaged comics. So that's when these boxes come in handy. So what I'm gonna simply do, guys, is simply cut out the walls of this box. So it acts as a uh, thick cardboard barrier to protect the comics. So basically what I'm going to do is cut along this box into the shape that fits inside this envelope. So definitely bigger than the comic itself. So let me just show you uh, roughly what size it is. I believe it's about like 8 inches by like 8 by 7 or something like that or 8 by 6. So let me cut one and I'll show you guys. So here I have one cut to size. Let's go ahead and do a quick measurement so we know what to cut for the next one. And that's about, let's say, uh, 12 and a half inches in length by about nine and one quarter. So remember, something like 12 by nine. And let's see how that fits inside this padded envelope. Of course, if you have more comics, you might have to cut it into shorter because of to take into the thickness consideration, and that it's perfectly in there. So what I'm gonna do is cut the other side of the wall so it matches that. So what I like to do is put one on top of the other and cut it to the shape. By the way, I prefer to use priority mail, USPS priority mail flat rate box because it's always cheaper to mail it flat rate versus weighing it. I've had them check it many times, it's always cheaper with flat rates. And what's awesome about these, you can get these for free from USPS and you can have them even mailed to you versus having to buy boxes from, you know, Walmart or a dollar, dollar store. All right, all done. Let's go ahead and fit it in here. That's one side protection. And that's for the other side protection. Fits in there perfectly. Uh, look at how sturdy that is. So what I'm gonna do is, you can also add extra cardboard, but of course that costs money. I usually put it back to back, so that way you have to protect the face of the comic. And now I'm just gonna insert it in between the two cardboards, like that. See how easy that is? Check it out guys, look at that. See all that protection right there? So it's gonna be really hard to bend. Here we have 10 comics fit in here. So you guys do the math. You can probably fit at maximum probably 12 regular size comics. Yeah, I'm just gonna simply seal it off and drop it off in my local USPS. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped for all the comic book collectors out there. I know you guys have been asking for this video. And take care of yourselves out there. We can all get through this coronavirus quarantine, all right? Happy collecting.